Rewriting of one third of one quarter as a multiplication statement is going to be one third. The of can be replaced by times, so one third times one quarter. And we can use our multiplication rule of top times top, bottom times bottom, and that gives us one twelfth. So here we have two thirds of one quarter, so two thirds times one quarter. Well, if one third of one quarter is one twelfth, two thirds of one quarter should be two twelfths. Top times top, bottom times bottom. We can simplify that ratio as one over six. One half times five four fifths can be written as one half of a four fifths fraction. So if we want to take one half of a four fifths fraction, well, we, instead of four pieces, we can say we have two pieces. So starting with the one third fraction here, so I'm going to draw my one third fraction. Okay, so there, that represents my one third fraction. Actually, I'm going to shade that with a highlighter. Okay, so there's my one third fraction. And we're going to take one quarter of that one third fraction. So looking at a quarter of this one third fraction, I'm going to divide that one third fraction into four pieces, and that represents one quarter of my one third fraction. We can rewrite that as one quarter times one third, and that's going to give us one twelfth. And we can see visually that if I split this all up into the same size pieces, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces that make up my whole. So 1 out of 12 pieces is shaded. When we talk about multiplication, one strategy or one model we use is a fraction of a fraction. We do have a second strategy, which is length times width equals area. Okay, this, so we can always model multiplication as length times width equals area. So if I have a fraction of one quarter, what I can do is I can draw along my vertical one quarter and along my horizontal, if that's one, I'm going to divide it up into thirds. There, that represents one third. So this length of one quarter times one third is going to look like this. And through this area multiplication, we can all also show that we have one piece. That's the piece that we, we want, one quarter by one third. And the fraction of a whole, if we understand that this square represents a whole, is going to be one out of 12 pieces. And the nice thing about this is it actually justifies our top times top because we have one piece this way, one piece this way, and bottom times bottom because we have four pieces that make up the whole three pieces that make up the whole here. So we have 12 pieces that make up the whole in terms of the area. So it justifies our rule of top times top, bottom times bottom. So we'll do the same here. We're going to show a one half fraction times two thirds. So we'll say one half of two thirds. So I'll start with my two thirds fraction. And one half of this shaded area is going to be represented out of, of, by one of these two pieces. So I can either split these pieces into two pieces each, so I have two out of six, or I can just say, well, one half of two thirds is, well, one half of two is one, so one half of two thirds fraction represents one third fraction. The inner picture doesn't lie here. If we can see clearly that that's the case. If I draw my area model, I have my one by one square that represents my whole. One half by one third. This represents half. This length here represents one third. So this would represent my, oh sorry, two thirds. 
represents my two-thirds along the vertical, one half here. So the length times width gives me these two pieces out of six pieces whole. So one third, one half times two thirds. If, again, I can justify my top times top, bottom times bottom, and it gives me the same answer of one third that I got from my fraction of fraction picture.